All right, so now here we go. Uh, we need to go to the animation plane and we need to go to the bone plane. So Now, what you need to do, and this is very important, this is what you need to do, is by default, these are set. So we need to set the orientation to none and we need the second world orientation to none. I don't want to orient these bones to anything. I want positive or a Y up position, but um, it's already defaulted at positive Y up. And how you can tell that is if you make one single bone, um, and if you scale this up using the display animation joint size, Okay, let's look at this bone for a second under the microscope. Okay, one bone, and if I go to this pane, and I go to the question mark and make sure that local rotation axis is on, I can see that the positive Y is up and it matches my scene. Look at Y, Z is forward, and I can tell that by getting into the other pane. There we go. So Z is forward, Y is up, X is that way. Very important that you know all that good stuff because if you don't, this scripting that you put on it using lerp, slurp, and quaternions and all that other stuff is not going to match quite well. So make sure you know that stuff. Okay. Um, what I want to do is make another one. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Let's say I use the old school method and use command D. And I'm just going to duplicate this bone. And I'm going to place a bone right here in the shoulder. Oh, wait a minute. I need a lurping bone just in case. So I'm going to put a bone right here. It's going to be my lurper. bone right here that doesn't really matter but it allows me to change direction of this bone into the shoulder area and now I have to switch to a different view I have to switch to this view the top view so command D I'm gonna put a bone out here switch back to this view And I don't know how much depth I want, maybe a little less depth. Back into my side view where I can command D. Hook that right there. And finally another one here. So why I did this method is just because it's it's a little older school and you can take this and start connecting the dots using the hypergraph hierarchy. Okay, so joint one connects to joint two. So I command a middle mouse button, click and drag this over, and it's connected. And now you can see that they are now connected. Same, same, same. Nice. Good. Now if you want, in your side view, or your top view, or your perspective view, what we need to do is toggle these over a little bit. And as I said, I want some depth, so maybe I'll draw this one back out a little bit, and then place this one here, and then this one here. Good. What you should know is that image planes have the ability to have one side only because they're polygons, right? So the normal sticks out. And where the, the normal sticks out at is where you're going to see texture. But the other side is going to be transparent within Unity because it's a game engine. Another thing that you need to know is making bones is quite easy using the mirror command. But you have to set another thing. Let's grab the 
bone right here. Okay. And if I go in here and say skeleton mirror joint square box, I can do an orientation. I also have a search for, okay? So let's start naming these bones conventionally. This one is going to be my, uh, and we're going to use something like this naming convention here. Uh, this bone right here is going to be my R underscore shoulder. Okay. This one, next one is going to be my R underscore arm. The next one is R underscore barrel. Why do I want a barrel? Well, I might want to mount something there. Uh, this one's going to be my root. This one's going to be, I'm going to call this just for fun. Lurper. And this one's a nobody. He's just joint three. Um, I could name him waste if I wanted to. All right. So check this out. When I now mirror these bones, I can grab this bone and I can go to skeleton mirror joint square box. And I could say, I want orientation, not behavior. And I want to mirror this in my X, Y, because I see X here and Y here, and they're both up. And I'm going to search for R and replace it with uh, L. And I want to be very specific about that. I want to be L, just like that, underscore. There we go. So now I have lefts and rights, and it looks all nice in my hierarchy. And I would name this stuff now. Okay, and that's in the next video where I start mirroring stuff over and show you how to reverse normals.